A young, tall, skinny ginger kid got on three buses from Plumstead to Romford to qualify for inclusion in the amateur event. And of course, his name was Steve Davis. The most significant defining moment of my entire career. I think the chartered accountant's background is so important. You know, I am, a, dare I say, it's not very attractive. But I'm a numbers freak. I love control. I love, I love the books that balance. I don't, as much as I like to give the impression of this flamboyant entrepreneur, exactly the opposite is really true. You know, I'm actually a budget man and live to budget in everything I do. People that follow you on Twitter have an interest in what you're doing, so your marketplace is totally targeted. So whereas I only have, say, 40 odd thousand followers, my son has 150,000 boxing followers. The Frotch Groves fight, a week before the tickets went on sale, he sent a Twitter, he sent a tweet out to his followers, send me your email address if you want advance notice of when the tickets go on sale. 35,000 email addresses in one day. Totally target response that cost nothing to get. And then, of course, they were kept updated. Tickets went on sale on the following Monday. 63,000 tickets sold in 52 minutes. Without spending one penny of media money to tell people what was happening. From 87 onwards, we built a, a very big boxing stable, invested a lot in a lot of young, talented fighters. So you'll be talking about the likes of Chris Eubank, Nigel Benn, Lennox Lewis, Nazim Hamid, all became household names. You know, they, in, in fights, they, they, with fighters, they leave, they come back, they leave, or a new prospect comes. So it's a, an ever-changing uh, panorama of pugilistic punching power. Uh, and that's really good to see because you can never be complacent in boxing. If you look at all sports, if you go down beyond one or two players in tennis, we don't know their names. Golf, European Tour golf, turn on the TV, you don't know their names. You, where's the John Daly's of this world, you know? All right, the big winners, the Ronnie O'Sullivan's, terrific personality, terrific character. There just aren't enough of them. And that involves us now looking at, as we're doing in darts, where we're not gonna allow this to happen. So there we get involved in media training, trying to teach youngsters who are playing, there's another side to your job. It's called entertainment. And sometimes in some sport, we're losing out on entertainment and we're just crossing the pure sporting divide, and that's not enough. The young Twitter market of today wants more. They want faster action. They want quicker results. They want a better fan experience. They want more value for money. They want great sport, but they want to be entertained. My mother used to clean houses. My dad was a bus driver. And my mother came home from work one day and said to me, I'm 12, living on council estate, East End of London, skint, the whole family. She said, I know what you're gonna be when you grow up. And I said, what's that? She said, you're gonna be a chartered accountant. I said, really, what do they do? She said, I haven't got a clue. But the man I work for told me today that he's never seen a poor one. <laughs>